Looks like we had a busy morning. If you uh, want to go, I can get it up. Oh, no, no, I don't mind. You normally can't get out of here fast enough. Did you do something different with your hair? Sure. Looks really cute. Yeah. I, uh, felt like a change, you know? Doing something different, not falling into my same old rut. That's good advice. I should use it. You talking about Logan? No, no, it's obvious. You just have to read the body language. You know, he really wants you, and you want him to back off. We kind of got thrown together by accident, and we can't seem to avoid each other. We could always just walk away. <sighs> Logan asked me out on a date. Did you say yes? Not exactly. So you're procrastinating. <sighs> He's waiting for me at Jake's. Logan said all I had to do was play a game of pool, and if I win, he'll leave me alone. Do you want him to? Did you know that billiards started out as a way to play croquet indoors? Croquet? Yes, croquet. It's a long game for the privileged ones. Probably not too big where you come from. What do you want? Are you also aware that if thrown accurately, accurately and with the right amount of force, a billiard ball can cause severe brain damage, regardless of how small or smarmy or unworthy that brain may be? Let me guess, your hard drive has crashed and you fear you're going to die of loneliness. For clarity's sake, mm -hmm. let me put this into the language of your people, the small brain right. people. Yeah. Leave Lulu alone. <clears throat> if she shows up here, be gone with you. So what you're saying is you don't respect or trust Lulu enough to make her own decisions, do you? The blonde one has been recently through some pretty difficult times, most of which I can't mention to you because, see, the blonde one confides her deepest wishes and fears in I, the jackal, so... You know what? I've actually had some really just horrible stuff happen to me. And if you would like to hear about it, Look, don't confuse the blonde one's empathy for your plight with your own wishful thinking, okay? Fair Lulu will not be drawn into the James Deanishness of your social rebellion. What are you talking about? I will not stand by and watch you hurt my friend. Oh, I got it. You're her friend, and I'm about to be a hell of a lot more. Yeah, Logan has moments where he can be a great guy, but they're just moments. The rest of the time, he's arrogant, pushy, hostile, and really obnoxious the way he talks about working for Sonny as if it makes him special. Well, he has risked his life for Sonny more than once. So now you're defending him. I'm just trying not to judge him. But Coop told me to stay away from him, and Coop's his best friend. Do you trust Coop? He has no reason to lie to me. I mean, unless Maxie put him up to it. Uh, no, I think Coop's too honorable to let my sister use him like that. I just, I know that Logan has a good side to him. I've seen it. I'm just, I'm not sure that it outweighs the bad. Let's be honest. You like Logan's bad side. No, 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 really, because if you didn't, you'd realize that it's Spinelli, who's been amazing to you. Spinelli's my friend. Yeah, yeah, and he's also... You know, funny and smart and the kind of guy who stays with a girl for the long run. But, you know, why would you go for that when you can have completely unpredictable guy who's guaranteed to stomp on your heart? Are you saying you could go for Spinelli? <laughs> Not on a bet. He's totally into you, and I won't put my heart through that again. See, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how the blonde one and the jackal feel for each other. You are still most unworthy. You know what? You want to talk about this man to man, you bring it on, but the wizards and weirdo garbage is driving me nuts. Have it your way. But I've got your number, bro dog, dude, so listen up. Hey, guys. Keep your balls on the table, OK? <laughs> OK, let me explain this to you in a way that you can compute, OK? Lulu is special. And the Jackal's theory is that you just see her as another challenge, and that, that is so wrong. So, with all due respect, I suggest that you leave her alone. Or what? You gonna fry the mainframe? <laughs> that is so almost funny. No, what I would do is I would appeal to those who favor the blonde one, like, I don't know, maybe your boss, Mr. Corintho, sir, tell him that she objects to you bothering her, which she most certainly does on a variety of levels. You know what? You're right. I mean, when you're right, you're right. I have not 
I haven't. I have not shown Lulu the respect she deserves. She, she is a special person. Wow. <laughs> so much lying in here. The jackal's antennae are quivering. <laughs> we can't let Lulu risk your smarminess and insincere smoothness. She would only get hurt, and that, that's unacceptable. Shouldn't that be my decision? Like, it was, it was presumptuous of, of the Jackal to interfere and speak on your behalf. Well, it was very sweet of you to try and protect me, but whatever Logan is or turns out to be is for me to find out. With all humility, when you discover that your kindness has been misplaced and that the Krabby Commando is not fit to breathe the same air, I will not judge or criticize or say I told you so. Thank you. I will keep that in mind. I didn't think you were going to make it. Are you disappointed? No, not at all. I'm ready to go.